Maybe this is one of the dumbest ideas I've had. No, I'm like entering into a world of hurt. This is the part I'm nervous about. I knew something would go wrong and we made it that far. Woo! This whole thing has been a roller coaster. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The project that I want to work on today is something that I have been thinking about doing for a while, that I've wanted to do for a while. And I think the sheer audacity of me to think that I can do it is, you know what, I don't wanna think that way. I don't wanna think that way. I can do this. Maybe not on the first try, but I can, I can do this. I, I want to make a croissant. To, to those who don't know baking, that may just sound like, okay, whatever. But it is notoriously one of the hardest things to make, apparently. And I, um, I love baking. I get very frustrated with baking, but baking is very um, therapeutic for me. And I think I'm trying to prepare myself <laughs> For this, that it's not going to go right and that something will go wrong. Uh, I mean, there are so many variables. I have literally, I've been reading over the recipe so many times and there are so many different variables that I really need to <laughs> try to uh, control the things that I can control, whether that be the temperature of my apartment right now. I'm also trying to do this on one of the hottest days of the year. It's almost 100 degrees outside right now. So trying to control the temp inside my apartment's kind of wild. So maybe that's stupid. I also have a terrible oven. There's so many things that I'm like, this this could go so wrong. But I have wanted to do this for a while. And um, I am using, this is a Claire Savitz dessert person. I have done so many recipes from this book. I really, really love this book. I love watching her YouTube videos. If you haven't seen any, go check her out on YouTube. Uh, she has, she does so many cool, cool things. And I really loved this book. I made a lot of recipes, but specifically this recipe is and it's even labeled as like the hardest she has this page it has the desserts the difficulty levels one through five and then it has total amount of time and up here at the highest difficulty level and the highest amount of time are her spelt croissants literally by itself in the corner here so i know i am like i am just entering into a world of hurt but I want to do this and if I can't get it right obviously on the first try I'm not going to take it to heart because it's difficult for a lot of people it's difficult for professionals and I'm not a professional I just like to bake and I've been having a lot of fun with it but this has been one of the things that I've just been terrified to do and so I was like you know what I'm going to document it I'm going, if I'm going to go through this pain, the very least I could do is share it with all of you. And maybe this is one of the dumbest ideas I've had, but I want to do this. If I, if I could conquer this recipe, there's nothing I can't do. So, um, I do need to run to the store and get, there's not a lot of ingredients in this, but I do need to go pick up a couple things. And then uh, I really want to start the process today because it's going to take, you know, it literally says on this page that it takes over 12 hours. That's not even mentioning the amount of time you need to let it proof for 8 to 12 hours. Uh, so uh, this is going to take a while and I'm probably going to get frustrated. Just warning you in advance. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do this. I I believe in myself. I'm gonna be optimistic. I can do this.
more excuses. I bought a new apron to uh, give me the courage to be a professional or whatever. I don't know, I just need a new apron. Fingers crossed. We're gonna start with um, just uh, activating the yeast with a little warm water and I know how to do that, so I feel comfortable doing that. Let's go. It is getting warm in here, so I'm gonna move this actually into the bedroom so it can rise for about an hour and a half because I'm gonna turn on the AC because I have to do butter work and that's the part I am scared of the most. And it is toasty in here, so let's cool it down. Sorry, it's gonna be a little bit loud because of the AC, but it needs to cool down in here and honestly, I. I know that was the easy part, but the fact that that part went well is giving me hope. I know we haven't gotten to the messy part that like screws up everything yet. I'm staying positive. I am staying positive. The butter scares me so much, um, but I need to uh, cut it into tablespoons so that I can um, roll it out. Keep it chilled until I feel like the temperature is right enough in here that I can start rolling it out and it's not gonna melt and go everywhere. <laughs> is staying chilled until it gets cold enough in here because I can already feel it melt it. Alright, we have cooled this place down. It feels decent enough. We need to work quickly. Let's beat this butter. Actually, kind of proud of that. Woo! Feeling good. I don't want to get too cocky. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm doing the easy part right now. Quite honestly, I thought something would go wrong. Not, why am I saying this? Everything's gonna go great. Everything is going to go great. I keep trying to convince myself. Ooh, all right, so I have about, ooh, I still have about another hour left on the dough rising. So uh, let's wait. Okay, it's getting um, a little dark in here. Sorry about that, but I really want to uh, get these turns because I know I'm going to have to, uh, after a certain point, let it sit for like eight to 12 hours overnight. Um, I want to get that all done before I go to bed, and it's actually only like 6.30. So um, let's grab that dough because it's been sitting for a little over an hour right now and see where we're at. Alright, I'm going 
to freeze this for about 10 minutes. Okay, say a prayer for me because I am about to start doing what they call the turns, I guess, um, where you're basically layering the dough and the butter. Um, first, I need to encase the butter in the dough, and then I need to get it rolled out without the butter coming through. This is the part I'm nervous about, but um, I'm feeling good. It's been in the freezer for about 10 minutes. We want it to be firm, but not frozen. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. Say a prayer. feeling I already have a problem. It doesn't look like it now, but there was like an area in the center where it looked like the um, like the ends had it met all the way together and uh, it looked like the butter was coming through. Um, something tells me that's going to be a problem down the road. I already I have a feeling. <laughs> There's probably bakers watching this being like, oh boy, he's in for it. Whatever. I'm chilling that for 45 minutes and then we're gonna do another turn. I just did the second turn. It's been 45 minutes and I think the second turn went really well. I didn't see any butter coming through. Um, it seemed like it was consistent and uh, the edges were squared off. Um, however, uh, <laughs> I was so, nervous about it and like anticipating it, I forgot to hit record on the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you have to believe me, I will not forget on the next turn because we have one more It needs to chill for 45 minutes and we're going to do it again. Um, I will not forget on the third one. Okay guys, it is now a little after nine. I am going to do my third turn which I am going to film this time and then I need to roll it out flat and then I put it in the fridge and it needs to sit for 8 to 12 hours so it's probably gonna be closer to the 12 because I'm not getting up at like 5 in the morning to do this. Let's do it. There it is. I knew something would go wrong <laughs> and we made it that far. Um, the kitchen was too hot. Uh, I didn't have the AC on and that bottom layer just started uh, sticking to the counter. There wasn't enough flour and started just pulling up that bottom layer of pastry so that all of the butter and the bottom layer was coming through. Um, I quickly folded it, put it in the fridge, but I mean, that layer is kind of screwed. I mean, hopefully I'm going to have to, um, I kind of have to roll it out to place it on a slab to do the fridge overnight. So I'm going to let that sit for like 10 minutes ish, just to like solidify. And, um, I don't know if I can salvage it, but I'm going to keep pushing forward. Um, is what it is. I knew I, I told and see if I hadn't prepared myself emotionally for something to go wrong, I would be furious right now. 
but I find it funnier than anything right now. So we're gonna try to salvage it and we'll see uh, how it goes, but I'm proud of myself for making it this far. So I am going to assume that the reason the recipe uh, calls for the dough to sit for eight to 12 hours at this point is because this is the point where everybody wants to jump off a cliff. <laughs> I got it re-rolled and spread out and now it's on a pan and it needs to sit for eight to 12 hours. So, and I'm really, really happy about that because if I had to continue with the recipe right now, this is where I start getting frustrated and I knew it was gonna happen, but I'm breathing through it. Anyway, it is refrigerated. It is fine. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It has been a morning already. Uh, this is chilled overnight. Uh, it looks fine to me. I have honestly no idea. I know I need to roll it out to about the size of this cutting board. It's 18 by 12. It feels fine. I'm hoping that it doesn't get super, super sticky. I have the AC blasting all morning because it's already, it's 9 a.m. and it's already like 90 degrees outside right now. I went for a run really early in the morning because I knew I was not gonna be able to do it any other time during the day. I want to roll this out and then we are going to cut it into the triangles and get the croissants formed. I don't want to just let this sit so I'm just going to jump right into getting it rolled out to the size I need to and hopefully getting those triangles cut. Let's go. Oh. oh my gosh, I am honestly <laughs> so excited that I got that far. I need to keep moving. I'm going to cut them into the triangles now. This whole thing has been a roller coaster. <laughs> I was feeling so, I'm, I'm so glad I had to step away last night at that time in the recipe because I was starting to feel my, uh, my angry baking self <laughs> coming through. Uh, and I woke up this morning a little bit uh, about it. Um, but then once I was able to roll it out and get it to the right size and then shape them, I was like, maybe I'm feeling good again. I mean, listen, I could have completely screwed it up at that point in the process and it's probably what happened, but they look good. And uh, <laughs> now I have uh, another uh, three to four hours of just letting them proof at room temp. And I have to spritz them again with water about halfway through then. So the question is trying, uh, keeping room temp at like a normal room temp and not letting the apartment get insanely hot because it's like, Supposed to be 104 degrees today, this afternoon. Oh. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on them. We have three to four hours to wait. Uh, and then we egg wash and bake. And we'll see what we have.
Okay, we are about halfway through our proof. It says anywhere from three to four hours. Um, but they said about halfway through, I should um, spritz inside on the paper, avoiding the actual croissants, but uh, just to add a little bit more moisture. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I think they're puffing up. I think they're bigger, I think. Uh, they're all, it's only halfway. So let me uh, let me add some moisture. Okay, guys. I have about uh, ten minutes left on the timer until they are ready to go into the oven. I am going to go ahead and preheat my oven to four hundred degrees. Um, I need to create an egg wash. It's egg and heavy cream that I'm going to put just on the tops of them, trying not to get any on the sides. Yeah, moment of truth. We're gonna see how they turn out. And they look larger than when I, uh, when I sprayed them again. So, fingers crossed, we're gonna see. I'm so nervous. Okay, whatever. It is what it is at this point. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I just looked in and the butter is spilling everywhere so um you know what it's the it's my first time it's my first time <laughs> i think this one takes a long time and i think there i mean there obviously is a lot of skill in it uh but the steps themselves aren't that hard i feel like it's really more about the variables the temperature of your dough and your butter and the consistency of both is both um, similar when you're rolling. I feel like those are the variables, um, but the actual steps themselves aren't that hard. But I, I don't know. I already. I feel like I've learned a lot just in this process. I know they're not done yet, and maybe they'll come out and they'll taste great. They're not going to be perfect, obviously, but I feel like I learned a lot for my first for my first try. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I like keep staring at them because it says, I mean, I'm supposed to get them dark. They're supposed to be a dark brown. I said 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to 25, um, but I also don't want to burn them. So um, I just keep like staring at them, but we're trying to get, you know, dark brown. It's time. Ooh. Moment of truth. Guys, I, I don't know about you, but those look like croissants to me. Croissant, whatever we want to call it. They, I'm... <laughs> now look, I, I know they are not perfect. I know things did not go completely to plan, but I'm really proud of these for my first try. Recipe that is labeled as the most difficult one in that cookbook. I'm really proud of myself. All right, guys, after all of that work, moment of truth, let's try them. I'm honestly, you know, Obviously, I had some problems there at the end, but 
There are definitely layers. Um, it could have puffed up more, and obviously I lost a lot of the butter in the bake. I kind of knew that was gonna happen because of all of <laughs> the videos and the tutorials that I've watched on this exact process. But when I saw it leaking out, I was like, well, is what it is. But you know what? For a first try, I am I am pretty proud of that. So let's let's try this thing. It's flaky. Definitely got those layers. This stuff is really good. For the amount of butter that I thought I was losing in the bake, it still has that really, really, really buttery, flaky flavor. Oh man. I'm glad I finally did this, to be sure, because I was so afraid of this recipe and it was something that I feel like, you know, I've done a lot of baking, but I feel like it was something that I was just really scared to even attempt because everybody told me it was just like one of the hardest things to get right. And, and listen, it's not right. It is not completely right, but I did the recipe. I made it through it and I made something that s resembles what it is supposed to be. If not perfect, that's fine. It was my first try. And for my first try, I think it's pretty good. Thanks so much guys for <laughs> going on this journey with me, conquered my fear of the croissant. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel now, do so now. I mean, we have tons of projects around the apartment. We do baking, we do clothes, we do it all. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.